Hey guys, welcome back. So, living on an island, uh, a boat is a big part of our lives. And that's, uh, that's a big part of people's lives that live in Southeast Alaska because not only do people use boats for fishing and crabbing, but uh, like for us, it, it allows us to get materials and food back and forth to the island. So it's, uh, yeah. It's a pretty big deal, so we're we're just focusing a little bit on this on the boat stuff because we we just got our other trailer over to the island. We'll put a link to that right over here. And then last video we had a uh, we went through and did all the wiring harness for for the boat, and we'll put a link to that video over there as well. So that last video was too long, so I had to split it up into two separate videos. So this video is just a, a follow-up on that, on us finishing adjusting this trailer for our boat. So what are we doing today? Well, we're going to adjust the the bunk sliders, and that just lets us get the boat centered on the trailer easy when the winds are going, you know, blowing pretty good. It just allows us a little, so it doesn't blow off the trailer, it just gives us a little guide to get it on centered there. Uh, we're going to adjust the winch stand and we're going to move that that winch stand back three inches and i'll show you why here in just a minute and uh and our drop leg our trailer jack uh they put that when we bought the trailer it was on the right hand side i don't know why maybe their passenger did the jacking and up lower and raising of the trailer but I do that so we're gonna move that jack stand over to the right hand side to the driver's side so when I get out of the truck I can just go over there and start jacking this puppy up all right so let's get busy so first things first is before we take the trailer over there to uh, move this back I'm going since this is a new to us trailer and it's got a lot of rust on it I'm going to loosen all the nuts make sure we don't break anything before we get over there and then uh, tighten everything back up then we can go over there and feel confident that we can take this off move it back with the boat not on the trailer and then uh, readjust it all right let's get busy mean man again Yeah, these things are on here tight. I'm going to go get the uh, impact driver and burp, we'll get it off there. All right, now that we got the right tool for the job, let's get this going. It came off pretty easy now. So I want to leave a little tip with you. When you're using impacts, whether it's air or pneumatic or whatever, uh, an impact driver, put your nut on with your fingers and thread it first. Don't just look like a race car driver because that's a surefire way to get it cross-threaded and then you just strip it all out and then it's a booger to get off and then whoever takes it off, off is pissed because guess what? Now they gotta deal with your idiocy. All right, just a tip. All right, so these are our transducers and they are used for for like a depth finder. So basically they measure the depth of the to the bottom of the ocean. And they also give you a reading of what fish is underneath your boat. And these are the the sliders and obviously these are too long cuz they're knocking these off their mounts. Uh, so this is two inches here, so we basically need to push this boat back two inches And so how we do that is this is the winch mount and basically What you have here is you've got two u-bolts and what we're going to do is slide this back The two inches that we need and that's pretty much two inches right on the dot if it's not then we may have to drill out a little bit Hopefully we don't but um yeah, so basically we just got to slide this winch mount back two inches and then the boat will be setting properly on the trailer. So 
basically we just slid that back three inches or two and a half inches and then we'll put the boat back on and see how it works. There you go, she's on there. All right, let's go get the boat on here and see if this thing's gonna work. So we really can't see the back end of the boat, so we're gonna go and uh, drive forward a little bit, see what it looks like. All right, so we moved it forward about two inches. So it's past the boat. We'll let it settle a little bit, see what happens. But I think we might have a little clearance issue with this since it sticks back just a little bit past the uh, the boat so we'll see what happens uh, if I mean I'm we won't be hitting and cutting metal if I trim this like a quarter inch off here so that wouldn't be that big of a deal so we'll see what we'll play it by ear see what happens so these were the bunks and we kind of put the trailer on a little crooked to see how these things uh, worked out and and uh, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> uh, they did a good job, I like them, it'll work good. All right, cool. That's the driver's side. I don't know why, whoever put this on, they must have liked to be on this side. I don't, so I'm gonna flip this over. It's only four bolts, so it shouldn't take us too long. I say that now. side now we just gotta tighten her up there you are she's ready to rock and roll now let's see if it works Yeah, 
gotta put this little chain on so I don't lose my pin. I also need to find a zert fitting so we can put some grease in this thing. Did we put the blocks down? Yeah. That's perfect. See how much, see how much easier that is when you, you get out the driver's side, come over here, and you put your wheel down and crank it up instead of having to go jump over the thing, go over there. I don't know why they had it like that. So we try to bring you all things Alaska and give you a little glimpse of what it's like to live here. Um, so if you want to see, we talked about crabbing and fishing. So if you want to see how we catch crab, uh, I'm going to put a video right here. And that was on our 20th uh, anniversary uh, we went out caught some crab and had a nice crab dinner that night and then I'm gonna put a, 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 a video right here and that's just a video that I think that you might enjoy so thank you guys for watching uh, if you're new to the channel you can hit that button and subscribe because we'd love to have you around and we'll see you next week